Next question is from Jules Tillman. Can you put barbell squats and barbell deadlifts in the same workout? Or is it better to keep them on separate days? I mean, you can. Is it ideal? No. Yeah. Both of those exercises load the hips and the lumbar spine so much that if you do them both hard, the risk of injury does go up considerably. Now, one thing I would almost never do is do a heavy deadlift before doing heavy squats. I think that's dumb. I could I could see how that would really that would really increase yeah. the risk of injury. And the reason why is you're taxing your yeah, low, back, low back, which is so important that it's completely uh, strong going into a loaded back squat, right? Yep. So that's the main reason why you would never go that direction. Because people always ask that. that you've, we've said that before in the podcast. And like, I don't understand. Why not deadlift before squatting? Why can you squat before you deadlift? Yeah. Now, I, 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 I'll do this, I, or I could do this, kind of lighter barbell squats, and then do my heavier. But I would never go heavy, heavy. Yeah. and train lots of sets for both. It just loads the lumbar so much that I could see that, the, again, the risk of injury is really, really yeah, high. risk versus reward. I mean, you can do whatever you want. <laughs> like, it's, it, like, you see CrossFit. Like, you can, do, <laughs> you can do whatever you want. You just throw some shit on the board and, and get after it. You do it. some ring muscle-ups, yeah, too, right in between. It doesn't mean like. it's ideal, you know? So, like, you got to listen to your body. Like, when you're putting that much demand on stabilizing your spine specifically, you got to be conscious of that. Like, when, uh, you know, your form degrades or when you're, like, overworked all the stabilizing muscles just to keep your shit together it's probably not a good idea yeah i mean i i never do it but i also don't think it's that bad unless you're loading heavy yeah if you're if you're doing five or less reps so and you're and you're you're moving at 80 percent plus type of deal then i think it's a terrible idea for the risk versus reward to your point but i mean if it's 15 reps or you're doing light or it's a technique day I don't see anything wrong with it because the 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 likelihood that you're really going to hurt yourself on 15 reps or 12 reps, the load that you have to do in order to do 12 or 15 reps, you'll probably feel your form degrading before you actually hurt yourself and can set the bar down. Yeah, I mean, consider this, right? The the area that tends to be not always, but the area that tends to be the weak link in a squat or a deadlift is the lower back, right? So if somebody hurts themselves on a squat or a deadlift, it's usually the low back, definitely in a deadlift, often in a squat, because they both require such strong stability from your core. That Because you're using your, you gotta understand when you're listening to this, your hips are so powerful. You got these big, powerful muscles that drive the hips, and you're either arm you know, extended holding a barbell or a barbell on my back, the thing that connects all of that is the lumbar spine and the core. And if that fatigues to the point where the hips are using more weight than the lumbar can support, now you're starting to run the risk of injury. Mm -hmm. And because they're both so intensive in that area, probably not a good idea. This is why you'll rarely see people load them both heavy in two exercises. Now, you will see barbell squats and a stiff-legged deadlift, but rarely will you see people do a stiff-legged deadlift the way people do conventional deadlifts, mm -hmm. where they're doing singles, doubles, and triples you know, type of stuff. It's typically higher reps focusing on form, technique. So in, in our programs, the only place you'll see them in the same workout is, I think, pre-phase and MAPS Anabolic, and it's really not hard workout. It's not like you're doing tons of sets. Yeah, of it's each. like technique. So yeah, I can exactly, see it on right. a technique day, right? So yeah. if I'm trying to teach a client to get better at squatting and deadlifting, I want to increase the frequency of both just for technique reasons, right? Like or for practice reasons, I mean. So I don't I I don't have that much of a problem with doing this three times a week if it's if the intensity is low. Mm -hmm. If it's low intensity and it's all about getting my client to practice squatting, getting them to practice deadlifting, and, and that's how we go into each mm -hmm. workout is thinking like that, I'm not worried about their low back being fried because I'm not loading. But if I'm loading, I think it's a terrible idea to do those two exercises in the same workout. 